Welcome to Let's Talk About, the podcast where we talk about movies from the 2000s. Uh, th- welcome to the 25 Days of Christmas edition of Let's Talk About. Today's movie is The Santa Claus from 1994, starring Tim Allen. When a man in endev- in- inadvertently makes Santa fall off his roof on Christmas Eve, he finds himself magically re- re- recruited. Recru- okay, I am not bad. I'm reading this right off the IMDb, so yeah. Uh, recruited to take his place. These are recorded one month in advance, so if we don't make references to events that are happening in the world right now, don't blame us. We are recording these in advance. It is November 2nd, and you're going to be watching this on December 1st, probably. That's when it's coming out. I'm here with Kennedy and Pop. Introduce yourselves, you two. When you Hello, good. Hello, good sir. Yo, what's could poppin'? You s- could you spare me a bowl of porridge? No, we don't have the budget for that. Um, okay, so today we're going to be watching it's Santa Claus, like I just said. I, I just said we don't have the budget for that, Gindy. Yeah. Our budget is a corn chip and a dime, because I found a dime on the streets. Okay, so what are your guys' like, what are your guys' like experience with the Santa Claus? The first movie, I don't have that much experience. I remember growing up, they would like play it on the school projector. They'd uh, roll out those little brown napkins and put the popcorn on it from the microwave. It'd I, always I like, be that oh, cheap sorry. popcorn, too. I like Got this movie because... Um, I like this movie because, not to get too personal into it, but it just reminds me of the times when I was a little and I would go to my dad's house and, it, it, like, just him out in the movie. Um... He just reminds me of my dad. He looks like my dad, the way he talks, the way his, like, voice sounds. This reminds me of, like, when I was, like, a little kid, like, you know, driving at night with him, going to, like, Denny's and things like that. I just, this movie is just, like, I, I love this movie. But I think number three is my favorite, which is going to be on the 3rd of December. So, oh, my God, spoilers, even though it's in the teaser but trailer. Pop, why haven't you talked? But trailer. Anyway, um, <laughs> we had the v- I had the VHS as a kid. I have it. Um, I have it now. <laughs> and we never, it never, literally never had the box. It was always just the, the loose tape. And we, like, w- basically just, like, watched it, like, maybe once a year. We watched the second one a whole lot more. We watched the second one, like, every, like, every few weeks. So Which maybe, one had like, Jack Frost? Three. Third one. So I didn't really watch I... it oh, that sorry. much as a kid. I went, the second one a lot more. I watched... Yeah, I watched I watched the second and third one a lot more. I think I watched this. Yeah, yeah, I watched those ones a lot more. It's kind of like Ice Age for me, as weird as that sounds, because I don't like the first. I didn't like the first Ice Age as a kid, because because like they were just like it was like completely just like, eh. But second one, like, Meltdown was food. really good. Meltdown was pretty good, and Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I watched it kind of recently, and I don't know why people say that one's bad. That like Buck is really hilarious. Dinosaurs yeah. in theaters. It used to be my favorite movie. I remember this is completely off topic from the movie, uh, but I remember the um, when Dawn of the Dinosaurs came out, they had popsicles, right, and it had like a little like gummy acorn inside, and it was it was the most disgusting gummy thing gummy you know, ever tasted. Like, oh my god. Um, so we're gonna go watch the movie and. For you, it's going to be a couple out, maybe like an hour and a half, or I don't know what the running time is, um, for us. But for you, hour for folks at home, you're going to hear a music intro, uh, music cue, or some kind of SpongeBob clip, or something. I don't know what yet. <laughs> I'm going to find out when you're going to, you guys are going to know. I'm not going to know. Anyways, um, you guys ready? To, any final words before we watch the movie? Let's get the hot cocoa and the uh, popcorn bucket, and let's go watch the film. Hey, yo! What's up? Whoa, whoa! And we're back. I didn't watch half the movie. Hey, we did. <laughs> I had to go do some you. things. I had, like, missed, like, half the movie. I've seen it so much, so I don't really need to see it, but... <laughs> In the future, we'll try not to do that. I can't <laughs> believe that Darth Vader was Luke's father. Oh, don't spoil it. Dude. 
It's like saying it's like saying Han Solo dies in The Force Awakens. Dude. So. <laughs> so, what'd you guys think of the movie? Pretty cute. Before, the CG like hasn't aged the best, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the slay like looks like a PS1 game on top of a Lego set. It looked like they literally took the model and just slid it around the screen and didn't even really animate the, the reindeer. Yeah, yeah. And how was, how was that a year before Toy Story? <laughs> what? That was a, how was that a year before Toy Story? I don't Have know. Have seen Toy Story didn't... recently? Toy Story has not held up well, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy kind of looks like a golem. <laughs> People got mad that in Toy Story 4 they changed Andy's model, but it's better than the Gollum we used to see. Yeah, they, they completely... It's like Incredibles 2 with, like, um, Mrs. Incredible. She, her face is just completely different. It is so off-putting. Because everyone else has, like, the same exact face except for her. It is so weird. I don't like that, honestly. Did they make her thicker? That's the question, though. Any hoodlies. So, what did you think of, uh, what did you think of the Santa Claus? You seen it before. Is it what? a good, wholesome family film? Yeah. It's a bad one in the movie. Like, once. I, I, I like the sequels more, honestly. Yeah. But, hey, without the first movie, we wouldn't have had the sequels. Well, maybe like we could have had the sequels. Maybe it started right with number two. It's like Star Wars, you know? And then you go, you work backwards. You yeah. know? Possibly. It's like Santa sure. Claus. Santa Claus, you know? The, the, uh... It's kind of like how with... Uh, I'll get back the to you. I'm going to think of a Star Wars pun. Keep on moving. It's kind of like how with the first Mega Man, it doesn't age as good, which is why people remember <clears throat> Mega Man 2 better. I got it. I got it. The Santa Claus, a new clause. <laughs> yeah. I, that is the best one I can come up with for that. Oh, that's clause for disappointment. Ah? Ah? Come on, somebody laughed at that. I didn't. Now what matters? <laughs> we just like straight up just bully Gendy. <laughs> That's the running gag. Yeah, I'm the one who's just supposed so people to know. Get space cam. Just so people know that like we don't actually hate Gendy. We love him. He's a good wholesome boy. Yes. Yeah, I'm just our Megward the Wizard. I, I okay. So I want to do a joke in this podcast sometime. Because I'm like, you know, like we're all saying, I'm gonna replace you, Gendy. I'm gonna replace you, Gendy. <laughs> actually, like, like we have to, we have to, we'd have to like meticulously like plan it. But like, you would leave the call, and then like, like because we're talking on Discord for those who don't know, and um, you like a sound effect of like you like some like fumbling or something, and then just like, like like I like I'm like uh, uh you, and I just like bring in like and someone else just joins the call. I'm like, okay, you're. <laughs> You're the third person in this podcast now. Talk. <laughs> we're going to do that. I don't know how like we would like do it or who we would do it. Like Spongebob the narrator. So mm -hmm. the old editor, the old Gendy got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. We'll just get one of our, one of our friends to come in. Imagine if we, that's how we get a guest star, honestly. They just replace Gendy. So Gendy doesn't get to interact with him at all. Like, like some like really famous like, YouTuber or something. Like Dreams. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get... We'll get like the creator of we'll get Mr. Uh, of Mr. Nerf Gun. Um, we'll get we'll get Gendy Tar Tarkovsky. We'll what two Gendys? <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be I want to see Greenblatt to come oh, on this yeah. podcast on. So he just seems like a fun guy. Uh, no, he's on a mushroom. Oh wait, Toes mushroom. Mr. Mr. Nerf like, Gun. Do you mean like? You mean like Coop or something? Maybe. Um, so back to the movie. Good movie. Oh, yes. Perfect with the yeah. hot cocoa. Okay, this is going to be weird to say. It's going to be weird to hear. Oh, no. Why does Charlie have, like, the most realistic kid cry I've ever seen in a movie? They probably actually, like, they probably just, like, slapped him off set and they didn't record it or anything. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just straight up, just... No. 
The chat just like slap. I don't know if that picked up on my my mic. That Look kid's like the best character. That reminds me of a story from Wizard of Oz. Okay, so in the scene where oh my god, my hands are I slapped my I like slapped my hands together really hard. Um, in the scene where the cowardly lion is like crying or whatever, uh, the girl who played Dorothy kept on laughing. So one of the directors legit took her off the set, slapped her, <laughs> put her back on the set. <laughs> If you look in look in the scene, her right cheek is red. Slapped. Oh wow! I just I probably shouldn't laugh at that, but it's like it's just like really funny to like think about. I'm just gonna shut up now, actually. That's us. That's us. Before when, I get canceled on Twitter, when, I'm gonna. I'm just yeah, gonna yeah. Shut up. <laughs> that's when Gendy you can't be canceled if you didn't right. start. So, um. Okay, so like um, tomorrow we're gonna be talking about Santa Claus two on December second. Hopefully that comes out on December second. <laughs> no, not our upload schedule. Um. Uh, so we'll probably talk about like the sequels. Like, we, okay, so we'll probably talk about two and then one together in tomorrow's. We're gonna talk about one now. Obviously, we're trying to at least, and then three. We'll talk about all of them, all that you know. Okay, I know one of um sequel yet, but what? they're making a Santa Claus four with Tim Allen. Really? 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 I'm gonna look this up. That it was just that it was just a, a fake, a fake rumor. Like scary Godmother two. I mean three. We can only it's wish. four K. <laughs> it kind of makes right, me wonder, up. like, like, uh, what would they do if they did like a Spy Kids five? Like they had to do four D for the fourth one. There's a, there's a show on Amazon. I'm not seeing any. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything uh, for Santa Claus Four. I wish there was a good be a Santa Claus Four. Honestly, I, think, I, I like these movies. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of fourth <laughs> movies, that joke in Muppets Most Wanted is um, outdated. That was Gonzo is like, well, you know, it would move it for um, Tom Hanks to make Toy Story Four. That's outdated. I, I still like that joke though. Can we yeah. talk about how? Can we talk about how this how um this kid who probably has his own kid now, and he was and there was that one kid in the classroom. Imagine being credited as the kid who gets to roast Santa and getting to go to kids about that. <laughs> okay, I was gonna bring this up while we were watching the movie. Well, I, don't know, I was watching the movie with you guys, but I wanted to save it for this. Okay. Okay, so in these movies, right, where Santa is like he's like a real figure and everything. Um, people, look, okay, okay, so, but adults are like, oh, you know, Santa's not real, Santa's not real, kids. But then later in the movie, it's like proven, like, oh my god, that fat, that fat man's real. And Santa's shown giving the presents, right? How, yeah. do, do the parents just not, like, just random presents are going to show up underneath that tree. Where do the parents think those come from? Yeah. I don't know. I mean... That has driven me nuts since I was, like, like, little. Like, I I yeah, wish I could just like make oh. a Christmas movie. Like, like I love. If you like, combine this logic with Arthur Christmas, which we're gonna get to eventually, and Prep and Landing, which we're also gonna get to eventually. Um, I don't think I've seen that sense. one. Prep and Landing. Oh, it's so good. It was like a, it was like an ABC special. It was really it's really good. It has like a nice cozy vibe to it. Uh. But that's for another time. That's for let me check my list. Um, but yeah, like. I really want to make my own Christmas movie just so I can, like, just so I can like I explain these things better. Like, like, like you know, like maybe they'll throw like some potion at the parents, or like in the in the morning when the parents, kids, parents are like watching, they get like a little sparkle in their eye and like, oh yeah. Uh, December eighth, we're watching Pepper Landing. Oh well, it's gonna come out on December eighth, Pepper Landing, and then on the ninth we have the sequel. I don't remember buying all of these expensive gifts. I thought we were poor. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe it's like a rich uncle or like a really cool grandpa. Those poor the poor kids never get the cool toys, do they? Santa is biased. Santa gives the Santa gives the rich kids the best toys. And then the poor kids get nothing. Hey, I was a poor kid and I got a DS for Christmas. I wanted Mindflex when I was a kid, but I didn't get it. I got it recently though to Goodwill. Not recently. I got it like like I think like last it year. Wasn't, it's, it's pretty it wasn't cool. That good. I, like it. It was just I thought like, Mindflex. 
all it did was it, it all it does is read your um, blood, your blood like your blood your blood pressure when you really focus on something your blood pressure increases so it's reading your blood pressure and then it, it goes up and then it uh, does that and it, and it powers it it's more it's more like not really your brain I thought Sorry to ruin it for you I thought no it was already ruined for me because in the commercial it made it seem like, oh, the ball is moving by itself through the obstacle course. But when I actually got my hands on one and actually played with it, you're just controlling like an air, like a little fan that blows a ball up in the air. Dude, I had like a similar back. thing. There was like this weird <laughs> video game <laughs> thing. You'd strap it to your leg and you'd play motion controlled video games with your feet. But. But like looking back on it, it does seem like more like <laughs> like retrospect. I'm like thinking like. Okay, yeah, it was probably, yeah, it, it, it'd be a fan or something. Let me it was think. What was it called fan. again? Uh, Mindflex. The, no, no, no. The uh, oh. that one video game thing I had. No idea. Let me think here. You dance. That's what it was. I dance. I don't dance. <gasps> no, uh, no. The, the toy was called You Dance. You I like dance dance since the accident. No, you you put the straps what? on your feet, and then the uh, the the thing has like a scanner where you can dance around, and it has it on the TV. I forgot Ooh, how funny. spicy just dance. I forgot how I forgot how funny him asking for the weenie asking for the weenie whistle was. So he didn't he didn't get the weenie whistle. I forgot how funny that was. Christmas came, no weenie whistle. <laughs> this is pure sadness. <laughs> that was me when I didn't get my flex. Just Christmas came. No mind. That was flex. me when I didn't get my Wii as a kid. I asked for it for two years, even knowing the Wii U was on the way. I'm like, I don't care. I want a Wii. Then again, I probably wouldn't have been able to play it because our stepdad would always make us go outside. That's a Bring story for another you. day. Just, just bringing us out with you. It's a Wii U. Just like, no, no. Like my... <laughs> no, I wasn't <laughs> saying the Wii U. I meant the Wii. All right, so you just get your Wii, right? And then you get some kind of power supply, right? All right, and then you take it, and then you get like a CRT, and you like go outside, and you just kind of, you know, it's kind of like the one Scott Lawson episode where you brought to his a... desk out. We live next to a pond with water moccasins. I don't think you right? can take so... Wii like that. All right, so you put some like electric electricity in the lake, and it'll like, electrify that lake, and then you get like a power outlet, like an extension cord in there, you know, and then you plug it into that. It might short circuit well, the Wii, but work. hey, you you know, might have to get like some kind of power adapter or something. I don't know. Either way, now that I'm a big boy, now I own two Wii's. I'm a big boy. I own a black one, and I. Oh god, this is gonna sound really bad. This is gonna sound really bad what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me give me context, right? The white we had DVD player built into it. The black ones didn't because the black ones were later on. So they took out the DVD player, right? I'm trying to say that I wish I had the white Wii because it would have that DVD player and I homebrewed, I homebrewed my Wii uh, for, you know, legal backups of my games. So, <laughs> so... <laughs> you didn't have DVD! <laughs> The Wii? No, the Wii was gonna come with the DVD. It was gonna come with the DVD player, and it's still in the Wii. And like the the original white Wiis have it still in there. So if you homebrew it, there's homebrew apps that you can actually use as DVD player. But the black ones didn't because they were later on in its life, so they took it out. Well, and I have I the, black one. the black ones were still like the white one because they had the GameCube stuff in them. No, no, they were um they had the motion controls and stuff. They're like they were updated Wii's basically. It's like they were like revisions I, of the Wii. Dude, I own both of the different Wii's. I have the I have the oh one God. that would have been white and had the GameCube stuff, and I had the I have the uh weird family fun pack or whatever. You're so angry. I'm rage. just trying to say that black was an Mother. option from the start. Okay, but mine came with like the motion controls, so it was the one later down the road. And even in my homebrew application, because I like put, I got the homebrew application. It was like and said like no DVD driver, or whatever in it, whatever it's called. It's like some 
weird cryptic way of saying it. All right, fair, fair. Yeah. I'm just saying. I know a thing or two about the weed. <laughs> yeah, I home. I had. I like spent hours trying to hold brew mine. So, like the homebrewing process it just itself isn't easy or hard. It's just getting like you know the talking? game. The, oh my god, that voice crack. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. It's like getting the games and stuff, you know. Yeah. Happy holidays, by the way, everyone. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> happy holiday. Happy December first. Hopefully, you're probably, you're probably not watching this December first. Let's be honest. We're probably, you're probably I'm not watching this at all. Hey, you it could what? be July you where you are. are. <laughs> and that's okay. You know why? Because if you, answer, if you just answered, if you just answered, that means we have the door market. So, so um, what? <laughs> oh, we should be interactive. What, okay. What if we had? Okay. What if? Okay. What if this podcast, right? What if we we had like? Yeah. If you want Kit to say this thing, click on this video. If you want him to say the other thing, click on this one. And then it's like goes to like um, it goes to um, uh, unlisted videos. So it was oh, like, oh, so you can't like see on the channel. Old YouTube games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like a point and click adventure almost. That'd be, oh, that's a really cool idea. That's way too complicated for me to do right now, but maybe in the future. Hey, that'd be actually a really cool idea. <laughs> It's, or it's, it's kind of like Markiplier's one series on YouTube that he did. I think it was The Heist or something like that. It was a really cool series. Like, you get to choose, oh, like, yeah, what to do. yeah, yeah. The Heist is Markiplier. He referenced that in the other series is doing Unus Honest. Which, by the that time is... this... Which, by the time this video comes out, that channel would be no more. Yeah, people are just gonna back them all up anyway on... Internet archive and I can't stop them. Yeah. Anyway, it's the Santa Claus, right? Hey, <laughs> I sure, I sure, I sure like Santa Claus. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize this whole. I didn't realize for so long that the movie was name was a pun because of claws. I knew it was a pun because we had to learn about clauses in school. I just thought that's how you spelt like Santa Claus as a kid. So I like had this like peanuts book of like a bunch of comics, and um, this and one of them was like Snoopy dressed as Santa Claus, and it didn't have the E, and I was like, wait, what the heck? What the is that a typo? And, uh, he, like genuinely confused me. Hey, when I was younger, I used to spell it like claws, like animal claws. The claws. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I mean? Okay. This is okay. This is about. This is about. Um, this is this is about Santa Claus too, but I want to bring it up in this one because it's still Santa Claus related. In the behind the scenes stuff, right? Something that has driven me crazy. They did it as if like this was actually filmed at the North Pole, right? And for the for this number two, so for number two, right? And Curtis, who is the second head elf, he was saying like I was in the first movie because I was a basically baby elf. I was two hundred, and then in this movie. I was 800, or no, I think that was what? in the behind the scenes of part three, and I'm like, <laughs> I was like, wait, do they not realize, like, kids are gonna understand that, like, more than, like, you know, like, over, like, 500 years has not passed, <laughs> you know? That is pretty weird. I, speaking of, like, behind the scenes, stuff. like, stuff, I hate, I hate Disney Channel, like, ads that like take scenes of the movie and like the, the characters like reacting and stuff and like there's like two disney channel stars like hi we're from it's me um like generic person from this show and me a generic person from another show and we're here to talk about the newest pixar movie whatever and then it's like characters like, from the movies three six five not that not three six five but like they will like it's just like commercials and they play it all the time and you know i have to watch it, hate, watch it I, every I, time I, I, and like the characters I, I will hate, react in like the stupidest way. I hate it. I just hate it. I, I hate when the special, fe the special feature things, like with the sand calls too. I, I hate when they try to make it like, the, the, oh, the, this was actually filmed here. Or this was an this like this was an actual. This is the actual like person. They're always so dumb. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of those uh, bloopers they would do in old Pixar movies. But those are good. Are they now? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, get a load of this boy, huh? 
How do I send? So other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the show? <laughs> I don't get it. Forks Theater. Poppy died at the theater. The man on the five dollar bill. Oh. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> just, you know what I'm gonna do from now on? Every time we bring up Abraham Lincoln, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him the guy on the penny, just to reference SpongeBob, the, the mm. Truth <laughs> Square episode. <laughs> no, it's just me, the guy on the penny. <laughs> love when Abe Eddie. Lincoln doesn't know who Abe Lincoln is. <laughs> I love, I love at the end. It's like you'll see SpongeBob everywhere or something. Like that and he like pulls up his hat. He's like a little SpongeBob plush in there. That would honestly be me, though, if I had, like, a tall hat like that. I'd just keep a Spongebob plush in there. I have one. I don't know where I put him, though. I used to have a, I used to have a baby Spongebob plush. I used okay. to have an inflatable Spongebob, but it, uh, popped. Okay. Cam Coral, bad, right? But I love baby yes. Spongebob. I, I love the kid Spongebob. He is adorable. I love him. I want a, I want a marketable plushie of him. Nickelodeon has done their pop. job. <laughs> Eh, the Funko Pop song is good, honestly. I need more Funko Pops. I only have like eleven. The Which Spongebob could argue Pops that's too many, but <laughs> I keep seeing these weird. joke TikTok videos that cut open the SpongeBob Funko Pop and have a sponge in them. <laughs> oh yeah, um For for Christmas, my my mom got uh oh yeah, she got um Scott, she got Scott from the Santa Claus as a pop. I didn't know they had that. I, w I want that now. Yeah, he's like in the red, the red, the red uh, pajamas. <laughs> do they have? Do they have any others on the? I'm actually gonna look this up. That sounds really cool, actually. I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, I didn't know they made it either until last year. So maybe it's new really cool. last year. Um, See the title, the Santa uh, Claus. I think of that quote from the uh, from the Fairly Odd Christmas. You will become the new Santa Claus. Oh, we should add that to the list of movies. <laughs> the Fairly Odd Christmas. Maybe we'll save that for twenty twenty one. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll do like a trilogy. We'll watch them all and then just talk about them. Yeah, you know, yeah. We'll all right, so I looked up the pop figures. Those are pretty cool. Um, the the, the Scott Calvin one. I think that's based on the poster. I want to say because he yeah, has like the lights around him. And then the other one, I think, pretty sure that's based off the second or third movie. Because that has that sweater. I think the second movie. Those are pretty cool. I want one of those. Oh my god, they have a Rudolph one. Uh, that does not look right at all. Why is his forehead uh -huh. so massive? There's a Funko Pop of Man. Flower from Bambi that looks wrong to me. Oh. Can you get any, get any rip, rip, RPG podcast? No! <laughs> oh my god, that is so weird. They have a Pez dispenser, right? So, they have a Ralphie from A Christmas Story pop figure, right? But he's like, he's wearing the bunny suit. But it's just his head and it's a Pez, it's a Pez dispenser. Spooky. So weird looking. I'm gonna send a picture of it. That is so okay. Uh, look this up for yourselves if you like want to see this because this thing looks just. I want this. I wonder if the pop. I wonder if they have like a pop figure. Okay, okay. They haven't done this. If they haven't done this, you're missing out on a huge market. And they should like hit me up, right? Okay, so pop figures, right? Or Funko, Funko. You know how they have like the packs of like the two characters and then like a like a little figure like i think like a little prop or something they should have they should have the dad and ralphie right and then a lego lamp like in like a three pack like that, that, that you know how much money they would make off that like seriously funko funko if you're listening to this okay. which i know you are hit me up okay i, I thought i thought of this you know how much money disney would make if they came out with a nightmare for actual ride not just an overlay oh god yeah hmm 
make so much money with Hot Topper shoppers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I shop in Hot Topic. <laughs> well, sometimes. I wish I could, but the Hot Topic in my area is like two hours away. <laughs> oh man, I wish I, was, I thought we were gonna get a story like how oh, you got like banned been, from one or something. <laughs> I've been to a mall. <laughs> I wish I could go to Hot Topic. Been to a mall one time. It was like a really like weird obscure mall. They had like a, a place that just had like generic stuff, like pops and stuff. I kid you not. It was called, it was called cold. It was called cold topic. <laughs> I'm not joking. I want to go there. See what they got. Cold. Do they do they sell do they sell ice? <laughs> Maybe. Why didn't Hot Topic uh, so hot? Well, I mean, have you seen the workers? <laughs> what? Come on, what? man. Pong, scoffs. Are you Rebel Taxi? Are you are you no. Pan Pizza? Are, are you Pan Pizza in disguise? Gendy? No, no. Again, you are legally obligated to tell me your real name. Is in your contract that you were supposed to tell me what your real name is. Are you Pan Pizza? Yes or no? I am not. Well, do you have what? connections to Pan Pizza? Because I would love to have him on the podcast. Or I would like to be on the podcast. For the love of God, Pan, please let me come on the podcast. Anyway, <laughs> that's a joke, by the I'm... way. But unless unless you want me on the podcast, because I will appear on the podcast. I, will, I, I, I wish. I, oh, I wish sorry, I had a connection like that. Oh God, same. Like, that'd be awesome. He just seems like a cool dude. Like, you know, like not, not like a fame or anything. Like, that's what that's what I accidentally, I accidentally made it sound like that. But I mean, he just seems like a really fun dude to like just hang out with. Like, just like in yeah. general, honestly. So, <coughs> so <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. So, <coughs> uh, I don't have a drink or anything. I'm like trying to eat like um some pulled pork stuff. <coughs> Let me mute myself while I just die. All right. All right, I'm back. Um. So, when so, we wrap, when we need to wrap up, or hello? We just keep on talking. We just keep on talking until we want to. Um. So Christmas, am I right? That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas is a fun time. It's a fun place to be. Yeah. Christmas is my favorite place. Okay, so the North Pole, right? It has a little. It has the. It's like an actual, like mechanical, like painted pole, and it comes out. So, in theory, I thought I went to the North Pop. Pole, and it's like actually existed. Pop, this is PG. I could type in the code, and I can get to the North Pole. Oh. Oh. Okay. That. that all right. It's not where I thought that was going, honestly. Um. <laughs> so yeah, you could. I I had a dr okay, not a dream. I swear to God, there was this movie, right? I don't know what movie it was, but this can be chucked up on the list of movies I saw as a kid, and I don't even know the name of, but I remember him very clearly. Um, it was Santa, right? He just like si he's like sitting with a bunch of other like people. He's just sitting with like, just like two average people, I'm pretty sure. And he said something like, like I don't know what the kid's name is, like, Oh, Johnny's naughty. He uh, he came to the North Pole, so he's naughty. Something like that. I don't know what movie it was, but if anybody that knows what that so is. so familiar. If anyone knows what that is, please tell me, because I want to know. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> We're going to know if I just play that, apparently. Well, they could. Hey, you'd be surprised. I have another one. I have another one for the people to figure out. It's not Billy Madison. Okay. But it's a guy going back to school, and there was this kid that he met had a helmet, right? And like a big camera on top of his helmet. And the guy asked, why do you have a camera on top of your head? And he's like, well, my mom always asks, what are you doing at school? So this way I can just show her what I'm doing at school. It's not Billy That's Madison. That's adorable. Unless it's a deleted scene Billy Madison, which I don't know about. But I feel like the villain of that movie was like, haha, now I'm going to show everyone that he's going back to school and he's a fool. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> no, wait, that's He-Man. <laughs> I'll, like... I'll get you, Spider-Man. 
<laughs> I will get you, He-Man. <laughs> that sounded like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. I don't know. I've never seen Tales, um, Tales from the Crypt. Isn't he was I've seen Goosebumps. Goosebumps show was good. once. Goosebumps was kind of good, from what I remember. Isn't that bone chilling? Rusty can the car? Do I drive? A toy Yoda! Mm. Funny joke! Copyright aired in some game grumps. And you go out of game. I just recently started talking more in like Yoda's voice, and I, I like, I don't know if it's good or not, probably not, but like, at the same I just like doing it because it's fun. It's, it's, <laughs> my Yoda voice and my Grover voice from Sesame Street are the exact same. <laughs> like, he's like, this is a job for Super Grover! And then it's like, Use the first you will. Celebrate Jesus, you will. <laughs> oh, we should have did the Star Wars Holiday Special. I didn't Wait, even think about adding that. Man, oh, maybe next oh. year. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are we doing a Christmas story this year? Plus, yeah. you couldn't top. You couldn't top. Yeah, you yeah, couldn't top John Tron's view. Oh yeah, true. Nothing can top John Tron's Starcade, honestly. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Oh. Why was there always an awkward pause and you go? Um, I guess we could call it a night. I'm just trying to think of something. Well, <laughs> how long have we been recording? How do you, how do you know if we're watching this? We have been recording for around. Mm, hold on, can let me do the like, math here. Can you, it's been like thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can we need to talk a little bit longer at least. Oh, do that then. Well, let's stop. <laughs> let's talk about politics. The election is coming up. Who do you think? Okay, let's. Who, who's gonna? <laughs> who's, who do you think is gonna win? Wait, just what? Say any, um, just say any name. Be, just say any I name, and it'll be outdated. We'll we'll just. I'll put an update in the description or like I'm, in the comments saying if it's outdated I'm, or not. I'm thinking. If I remember, I'm thinking Patrick Stewart. The guy with the skin. Yeah, 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 that guy. I like yeah, 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 yeah. The guy like with the eyes. Guy. Oh, it can't be him then. Couldn't be me. I don't have eyes. I knew it. <laughs> I would just random thing to say about the movie. It was a beautiful film. But why didn't they just take the keys? They didn't have to tear down the cell door. They could have just took the key. What? You know, the guy's got the little laser beam. He's breaking oh. through the uh, cell bars. Oh, yeah. From that part of the movie, I totally saw. Because I was totally here and not doing something else. Yeah, he fine? was totally <laughs> here and not at Applebee's. I would, I, I, it was Denny's. Okay, <laughs> no, no, I had to go, um, do something with my mom real quick, and, um, I just left the movie on the background, like, on, on our, on our website we use to watch it together, um, which if you want to do that, it's C-A-R-A-K-L-A-L, Caracal, I think, I'm not sure, entirely sure, um, good luck getting a room, <laughs> it takes forever to do that, but it's just like, it's a pro, it's gotta wait, you gotta wait for a room to open up kind of thing, but whatever, check it out yourself if you want to watch things with people that are far away from you. Or during this, you know, maybe quarantine still. Like I said, it's November, so of 2020. So who knows? Maybe you're watching this in 2025, and we're still in quarantine. I hope that's not the case. So yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> 2025. Oh my god. Look at me like then. God. I, I wonder know, what games old. from 2025 will look like. Imagine, imagine, okay, I remember when GTA 5 first came out and I saw like commercials on TV, I legitimately thought it was like a movie, because I, 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 was, I was like, I don't know how old it was, but I thought, I, I didn't know anything about okay, games like that back then. So, I like, legitimately thought it was a movie at first, and I was like, oh my god, that's a game, <laughs> that's amazing, and I look at it now, I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. that's the kind of data, but they're still pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Imagine showing, like... Minecraft with shaders on to someone like when Minecraft just started. 
they think that it was blow them Minecraft away. Rip. They would think it was a Minecraft ripoff. But like that kind of graphics though. Imagine showing Mario Odyssey to someone who like a, like a kid that just got Mario sixty four and thought it was like like the most revolutionary thing ever. That kid would probably have a heart attack from all the excitement. <laughs> this kid just this kid just dies. Kill a child. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having my own joke. Um, I'm just thinking of like like what I just said. Like the kid just dies. I'm just thinking of like <laughs> if we ever had like merchandise, it'd just be like my head on like a shirt and just like, like on top and bottom. It just says like, the kid just died. <laughs> <laughs> Not the child. I should go. I should go on. Um, I should go on custom. You can make that honestly. <laughs> uh, uh, so, um, oh, was, are you guys? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Well, when we, when we pause, there's nice Christmas music playing in the background, so people are probably listening to that, you know, enjoying it, you know. And a partridge okay. in okay. a pear yeah, tree. Guys, listen to Christmas music for a few seconds. Okay, do you enjoy the Christmas music? That may or may not be playing, depending on how Kit edits this. It's gonna be playing. It's like an hour long thing. Like I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna download an hour long video. Like, it's not copyrighted instrumental Christmas music. So getting pretty meta, huh? We're talking about the background music. Oh, it's probably uh, uh, I, um, Carol of the Bells or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like going in the effort and going and like putting like dubbing over my voice like over like like really obviously like Carol of the Bells or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that sounds like a, sounds like a Lord of the Rings character. I am Carol of the Bell. I am Carol of the Bell. Does, does the Hobbit need assistance? Uh, Frodo. Like that, right? I could just instantly can't remember anything about Lord of the Rings except Frodo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so currently for you, if you're watching this on the upload date, it's December 1st. How's December 1st for you? Mm. Pretty great, huh? We're gonna be in the future. Yeah, we're in the past. The yeah. future is in the past. Onward, Zeo Shema. It's a Gravity Falls reference. Like, was we on her, like, on that, like, that unicorn, not unicorn, the uh, dolphin with, like, the fists in its mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I, th she I thought so. That, she was on that smile dip. Thought so, I thought so. I want to try smile dip now. It's like also, if Fun Dip and LSD were together. It just sounds well, we like a fun time, honestly. Have we, have we said everything we can about the movie? <laughs> like, everything I can think on, of. Let me clarify something. I, like, I'm not a drug user, but like Fun Dip just seems like a good time. But, but, but Fun <laughs> Dip is an actual candy. Or not Fun Dip, the the, the, the dip that uh, the Mabel Smile used. Dip. Fun Dip, yeah. Smile Dip. The best, that was very much was Fun Dip. It's Fun Dip with drugs in it. Isn't that normal Fun Dip, honestly? Name one time normal... you've ever gotten high eating Fun Dip. Well, once, but that was in the summer of '89. Raven. I thought you were born in 2000. I was born in 2001. Get it right. You were born the same year as my sister. I am your sister, Gindy. I knew I... it. I ever see something sister. in my background. It's because I'm watching something in the background. Just the, I'm not watching it, but like my parents are watching something. And I don't like it. I'm like, I don't like going hearing that. So I just put, I just threw it on YouTube in the background. I'm so, my own dad. Yes, son. 
Um, so Christmas, huh? Uh, are you guys enjoying the lights outside in the in this current time that is Christmas? And the nice, Christmas. cool, Not refreshing, enough. crisp weather. Christmas, yes, very crisp. Did you guys enjoy Black Friday? I sure did. <laughs> Hopefully, I got a printer that I'm trying to get for thirty dollars, and it's like usually like hundred, like hundred and thirty. Or no, I'm getting it like 40, 40 bucks at like Best Buy. I'm hoping to get, get a it. cheap Nerf gun. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that um, oh, um, oh, oh Lord, um, that um, cheap thing that I wanted happen is cheap. Right, guys? Yeah. That's pretty, that's An pretty egg cool. salad cookbook. I want one of those. I want the Back to the Future cookbook th that they came out with. It's so cool. The, um, like in the beginning of the first movie, it's like, um, Uncle Joey's, like, um, sheep cake pie or sheep cake pie. Or not pie. The cake. They actually showed, there was like a recipe for make that. And, like, it's like all the foods in, like, the movies and everything. It's, like, really cool. I really want that. Wait, do they have, like, a recipe for perfect Pepsi? Well, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't own the, like the this water I bottle. <laughs> I got like this water bottle thing that kind of looks like the perfect Pepsi bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. My too. Me too. I got, but it's like pure blue. I really want one of those bottles. I collect, back, I collect Back to the Future stuff because it's like, you know, favorite movie. <laughs> so I got like a giant poster. I got like all the movies on VHS, QD, digital, and Blu-ray. They released the, like, re they re released the Blu-ray like a few months after I got my Blu-ray. And I'm so mad about that because it's like a, because they updated it. It's like a, and they have like, and like. All right, just keep on talking like nothing happened. It's, don't act like Craig just crashed for like the millionth time. Uh, hi. Um, whatever we were talking yeah. about. How about that? You know, <laughs> you didn't just, just like fade out me, randomly just, for no reason. Oh, so, it's totally like not like a minute later. Man. God. Okay, Craig. People who made Craig, make it more reliable, please. Like, seriously, he is very unreliable. <coughs> Anyways. And was there an HD DVD of Back to the Future? I'm... I'm not sure. Oh, no, I, I, um... I, want, I, almost got, I almost got a laser disc of it a while ago. For like, ten bucks, but on eBay, but um... But it had like writing on it and stuff like pen, and I was like, I was like, eh, for like a like a little, a little bit more, I can get one that's like. I own condition. one laser disc. I don't own any laser disc. I own mostly VHS tape, obviously, because you know. yeah. I only <laughs> bought a laser disc ones. because they were rare. Um, at my retro store, they have a bunch of laser discs, and that was the first time I saw one in person. And I thought it was really cool. Oh Maybe yeah. Back to the future. Laser discs are like DVDs that are the size of a pizza. So it's the record, but a DVD. Basically. They were a rival to VHS, but didn't stand a chance. Ooh, I that teleport. future game. Oh yeah, yeah. Telltale made that. I need to play that still. Before they croaked. I hear it's like a fourth movie on... Only console I have that can play is like the Wii, and I don't really want to play it on the Wii because I feel like motion controls would be like forced into it. It's so like, re it's real bad on the Wii. Yeah. It's so a honestly, Telltale I feel like I'd rather. It's I'd rather an old just like. Oh, it's an old Telltale just... game. Oh. <laughs> kind of just low dated, but it's good. The only Telltale game I've played on the Wii is Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. I want to get, I, I can, I, I, um, I can probably get like a 360 and then just like play it off that, but I, I'm eventually going to build a PC. So, um, so maybe I can get the PC version if that's still a thing. If not, you know, there's always, you know, is, for sure. other ways. I mean, there's also, you know, the other ways to do it, but. Well, that's too loud. Yeah. My background, my TV is just too loud. There we go. Was that drinking Josh? Things. No, it's um like Monsters Inc. behind the scenes stuff. It's where I thought I heard Drake where's the door hole. <laughs> Drake. Um, last night I was hole? talking to um 
to people last night and we like brought up like Drake and Josh. Like, like, like <laughs> the pip pip to doodly do. <laughs> you watch the scene, it's so much funnier than I remember. Pip pip to doodly do. It's like, I love Drake, he's just like, go on, Pontiac. No one's ever about that, Ray Bush. Pip pip to doodly do. And Helen is just me, just like, pip pip to doodly do. I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> Uh, Helen you know. was just the purest character. I loved her. That is okay, not my of, job. Speaking of behind the scenes stuff, like I just said, I'm watching my head season of Monsters Inc. <laughs> They're doing like an in character like interview of like Sully and Mike for this. That's so weird. Very Mike's, like, really scared. Huh. Um, I think we should probably yeah, just wrap it up for now. We'll see you guys next time. Yep, we'll see you tomorrow with Santa Claus 2. Be kind. Maybe. Rewind. Um, subscribe. And a partridge in a pear tree.